Welcome again to, to ESTEC. And uh, I'll just give really a short uh, introduction, uh, not actually introducing really the subjects, but more the, the schedule of the day. Uh, this, is the, this is what we call a mini workshop, and it regroups the three final presentations of three Agriatna studies. We did work and research on, on asteroids and nearest objects since essentially the creation of the team. Since uh, about 2002, the topic has quite radically changed by moving more into from the fringes of what was considered between uh, serious science and uh, science close to science fiction uh, into the mainstream science, and that is that can be observed in a number of publications, the quality of publications, the the, the conferences that are organised on this. Um, on this topic. Uh, still, we know that NEOs are, and asteroids in general are very interesting. They're sometimes called, uh, I just read it in the Marco Polo description, the DNA of the solar system. But still, there's relatively little known, especially little known about how to assess the, the threat that they might pose and how to assess different methods and methodologies to, to mitigate such a threat. So what we did so far is we had done quite a number of studies, one dedicated Ariadna study on with Patrick Michel on the uh, centrifugal fragmentation and quite some internal work and there I want to mention specifically also Naomi Murdoch who cannot be here today uh, but who was quite uh, central to the preparation of, of the three studies and who is now pursuing her PhD on this topic. But what we wanted to do about a year ago is to, uh, to follow a different approach than what we normally do with Ariadna. What we normally do with Ariadna is we elaborate an idea inside the ICT, we look as much as we can go, we publish some papers, and once we need additional expertise on quite specific topics, we ask universities to join us and, uh, and do some research one more step. That's the normal Ariadna call for proposals. In this case, the ACT as such is taking a much more uh, laid-back approach, as you might have noticed, <laughs> and as we have introduced during the negotiation kickoff meetings by providing the general theme and asking uh, universities to provide ideas, research ideas, how to address this general theme. So uh, this is the, this was a little bit an experiment. Clearly, there are some marked differences between call for proposal and call for ideas. One is that the ACT researchers are not the origin of the idea which automatically takes us one step in the background and the university is one step in the foreground with respect to normal Ariadna studies. And secondly, there is a greater likelihood that we have parallel studies. In this case, for example, we had three parallel studies. And, well, I promised you to not go too long. So we had three parallel studies uh, this time, covering quite a nice spectrum of the, of, the, of the topic, starting from the prediction of uh, trajectory and trying to be as accurate as, as we can with a certain method. Uh, and we start with this by the presentation from uh, Politecnico. The second one is once an asteroid fragments, how it does actually fragment. Uh, this will be the second presentation by uh, the Université de Nice, Sophia Antipolis. And the third one is probably the most, uh, the most innovative one, which is the one that looks actually, can you come close, can you use uh, reflected um, solar light, the solar light converted into multiple laser beams to uh, to deflect asteroids by by uh, converting impulse via um, via solar light to them. Uh, agenda that we would like to propose to follow is rather the following one, 
which is we take half an hour in the beginning where we have these 10 minutes executive presentations by each of the teams, uh, one after the other, and then, uh, then have 15 minutes taken off the regular presentation um, and follow the, the usual schedule. I think it would be good to have this half an hour overview of the three studies really in these 10 minutes, and these are the 10 minutes that we are going to record and, uh, and disseminate more, more widely inside, outside, and whoever is interested in the topic. In the end, we want to have a wrap-up. The wrap-up should also include a little bit uh, your suggestions of further work, but uh, I would also <coughs> like to ask you feedback on how this went, feedback on the general call for call for ideas, uh, what we should improve, what we could improve. Uh, so please be, be honest there and don't be afraid to be honest. <laughs>